Hello Internet, today I'm going to be teaching you how to find the resonant frequency of a shower. The first step to finding the resonant frequency of a shower is to enter into the shower. From here there are multiple routes that you can take to find the resonant frequency. If your voice is low like mine then you might just be able to talk and the resonant frequency will show itself in tones above your voice. I'm now going to talk but I will digitally enhance the frequencies of this particular shower's resonant frequency in post so that you may better hear, or more easily hear, the resonant tones above my voice. Right now, in the present, if I listen carefully enough, I can pick up two distinct resonant frequencies. You will notice that the first note was noticeably louder than the other. This means that we have found the resonant frequency. I will now try and recite the note into the corner of the shower where the resonance will be most potent. This makes sense as resonant frequencies are often very precise and the human voice has a lot of room for error. Another method to finding the resonant frequency can be to turn on the shower. If we sit here and listen to the water for long enough, we will notice those same resonant tones expressing themselves. I'm now going to be quiet for a bit, but in post I will digitally enhance the resonant frequency of the shower so that you may hear the tones. I'm not sure if you can hear this at home, but I in person can hear the same resonant frequency I discovered earlier. There it is. That's the resonant frequency, as we discovered earlier. The resonant frequency of most structures is built upon the harmonic series. The particular harmonic series is inherently related to the structure and dimensions of the object. You will notice when I do a note a perfect octave below the resonant tone, there is still some resonance. Mm. Do you hear it? Let me show you again. Mm. This is because the perfect octave is a fundamental component of the harmonic series. You may be wondering why this is only possible with the shower, as opposed to many other things within the average household. Why, for example, can I not find the resonant frequency of my kitchen? Fundamentally, every object has an inherent resonant frequency, whether it be a wine glass or a warehouse, that can be found through various methods. For this glass, I will tap it to find its resonant frequency. You can tell that the resonant frequency is about that. Now let us move on to another essential room of the house, the junk room. This room is of course an enclosed structure, and so we should be able to find a resonant frequency. However, there are three problems with this room that stop this from happening. First of all, the room is constructed from brick and painted over with paint. These are very non-resonant materials. Another issue comes in the fact that the room is full of shit. Perhaps if this room was filled with less shit, there would be more of an opportunity to find the resonant frequency. However, the prominence of the shit within the room's layout obfuscates and dampens any potential resonant frequencies we could find. The third problem is the size of the room. The examples of resonant frequencies I've, so I've shown so far have been much smaller than this room. They have been a shower and a glass. This room is so large that the resonant frequency will be very, very low pitched, potentially out of the range of human hearing. And if we do find it, we would not be able to imitate it with our voice, unless we are Jeff Castellucci. Alas, we return to the humble shower cubicle, truly the perfect paragon of resonance within the average modern household. It is much smaller than the room, and is constructed of a much more resonant material. Whatever this is, I just call it tile. This is also the same reason for the glass's superiority, as glass is a highly resonant material, and the glass is quite small. This has been my tutorial on how to find the resonant frequency of a shower. I hope you've learned something.